Hey, thanks for stopping by. Robert Cofid with Computer Creations, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the different settings that you're using when you're using your Galvo laser. Primarily the uh, offset fill and the flood fill commands on your layers. Uh, on your layers. One of the things that I've uh, learned more or less the hard way, I will say, is um, flood fill was not something I ever used when I was working with my gantry style CO2 lasers. I used it in the past and it would always provide substandard results. Well, I will tell you that the flood fill feature in Lightburn is an absolute godsend when it comes to Galvo lasers. It will greatly increase the speed of your engravings and also give you a lot better quality. And so what I thought I'd do is I jump in a light burn, show you where these different settings live, show you the differences in some pictures I've got for you. In case you're brand new to Galvo lasers, you're used to uh, using the settings and you're familiar with what you've been using on a gantry style laser. Um, when you go over to a Galvo, there are some things that you're not used to using on the gantry side uh, that you should be using when you're using a Galvo. And so I've engraved some, just some black business cards to illustrate what I'm talking about today. And I'll show you where these settings live in Lightburn and uh, some of the things to try. Again, I am no expert when it comes to these Galvos. I'm still learning just about every day. But I thought there was a few settings that I was changing and getting so much better results that I wanted to create a video in case you're in the same situation and it will speed your uh, ability to provide better results on your Galvo. So um, let's jump into Lightburn. I'll show you what I'm talking about and I'm sure this is going to help a few people out. Let's jump into Lightburn and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We've got uh, two symbols here and we've got two different settings they're both identical so i've got one um uh, the first one on your left hand side which is uh this blue 01 color it's we're at uh, 800 millimeters a second at 65 uh, frequency pulse is seven um, and we're 0.02 for our line interval and we're going to do two passes. And what we did, what I wanted to do is set this up. So um, we had the, basically all these settings up top, exactly the same. The only thing that we're going to be messing with is the mode and the type of uh, sub uh, choice that we have down here, whether we're going to fill all shapes at once, whether we're going to use flood fill, that kind of stuff. So this left one, uh, is going to be just how I would normally engrave it in a gantry CO2 laser um, with just normal fill. The flood fill would be off and I would fill all shapes at once. And uh, that's the first setting. Then the second setting would be this one over here, which is going to be just a fill. Same settings as far as uh, speed and frequency. Everything else is exactly the same. But the only difference is we've checked this flood fill mark right here. Now this is something that I'm not used to, meaning that on my gantry machines, I would never use this because in a lot of cases it would generate artifacts and it just wasn't, uh, it just wasn't good. It sped up the project, but it left substandard results. So until I started using a Gan uh, Galvo machine, I wasn't using this. So this is where flood fill lives. You've got to have your mode in fill and then turn this on to flood fill and say OK. And when you do that, what will happen is uh, you'll see that there's a dramatic difference between the engraving time for this one and the engraving time for that one. And so what I'll do is I'll pull up a picture and we can kind of uh, look at both of those and I'll show you the difference. Before we jump into the picture and I show you the difference, I wanted to make sure that everybody understood the difference between this first one, which is going to be fill all shapes at once. If I come up here and I select this and I preview it and I blow this up, and we use our scroll bar, you can see that the laser is pretty much going back and forth, back and forth across the entire design. 
regardless of any grouping, it's going to cover it's going to cover it at a 45 degree angle one way, and then it's going to go at a 45 degree angle the the opposite direction. Okay, and so that's the normal uh, engrave that most people use. Uh, typically, they engrave it at zero on a gantry machine. You can pick your uh, scan angle um, on a Galvo machine. Um, whether it's one or two passes, it just depends on how many it takes to, to, to get what you need off from your business card. But the most important thing is the fill all shapes at once. Fill groups together, fill shapes individually, they all roughly uh, will give you the same result uh, on a Galvo machine that I've found. And so that's, that's what uh, fill all shapes at once does. If we come over here and we look at the flood fill setting. So we're in fill and then we turned on the flood fill. And if I preview this and we come back, you're going to notice something dramatically different. Um, in the way that laser approaches at work, its work, it's going to take kind of groups of things. And so it stays in the area much longer, and that's why it's a lot more efficient to do, and it seems like it provides a lot better quality of an engrave. And so you can see there's quite a difference in the way it jumps around. Now you can understand on a gantry machine why this doesn't work real well because it jumps around so much. But on a Galvo style machine, it really doesn't matter when it's jumping around like that. And so I just wanted to show you the difference between what the laser's actually doing in the flood fill scenario versus the the other way uh, that we're doing it, which is typically um, we're just going back and forth, back and forth over the entire design. And so let's jump into the picture and we'll take a look at both of those. So I pulled up a picture of uh, our two engraves. And so the one on the left, we did just a uh, fill, uh, just a straight fill and engrave all shapes together which is typically the setting that you would use on a CO2 uh, gantry style laser. This engrave for this uh, logo only took 66 seconds. And you can see that it's pretty rough. It's, um, you've got a lot of artifacts in it. That there's a lot of the letters that are not very clear. And you notice that the, uh, the engraving itself, all the, uh, stuff down here is just flat larger and uh, so this was 66 seconds if we turned uh, went to fill and then turned our flood fill on you'll notice that now we've got a much cleaner engrave this took 21 seconds so it's um, a third of the time compared to this engrave and you can see that all of the letters are nice and clean um, you know, you don't have any, uh, you know, skewed artifacts. This is a lot bigger than this is overhead. And remember, this was identically, the, the settings were identical. The only thing I uh, changed was I turned on the flood fill here and I filled all shapes together here. And that was the only difference. And so you can see that just by using flood fill in certain cases on your, on your uh, Galvo machine, you can not only save a lot of time, but your engraving gets much better. So I wanted to take it a step further just to see what the uh, offset fill would do. And so that's what we'll look at next. Okay, I've got uh, pulled up another picture. This is the offset fill versus the fill with the flood fill turned on. Uh, pay no attention to this light coloring over here. It's just a glare off of this real shiny black card. So my apologies for what it looks like, but it's 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 in good shape. So um, you notice that the the offset fill and the flood fill, both of those settings are roughly the same uh, amount of time, 21 seconds. But what I have found is in certain cases, depending on your graphic, your offset fill can be beneficial to you. Again, just depends on the type of text and design. And so what I would say is. Um, if you're having troubles, uh, you know, doing some design work on, on a material, uh, don't forget that you've got the offset fill command. 
Um, and that is, if I hit PF12, bring that back. If I bring, if I come in here to one of my layers and I go here, offset fill is one of your modes. And so don't forget it because I've tried it on some things uh, like golf balls uh, seem to work pretty well. Um, some of the uh, uh, softer plastics, it can help. Um, and so uh, don't forget about this offset fill. And um, your flood fill is right down here. And so you can see that you've really got, um, you know, two other options for you when you're dealing with the Galvo laser. A um, couple of differences here that I see is, you know, the text is clean right here on the flood fill where the offset fill, you've got some, some issues right here in this E. Um, and uh, the rest of it looks pretty good as far as the Battleborn section. Um, but it's uh, just some options that I wanted to point out. So if you're not used to using either offset fill or flood fill in your lasers when you're using a Galvo, um, please give it a try because it's made a big, big difference in a lot of the products that I've uh uh, created with this 15 watt UV and uh, they're turning out great but before I started using these two options I was struggling a little bit and it had everything to do with the way I was setting my layer up that I was um, just using this fill all shapes at once it really didn't matter which of the three I tried in that respect um, it seems like the flood fill or the uh, uh, offset fill seems to to really uh, do well when it comes to these gavel lasers so just wanted to take a few minutes to point that out i hope this information helps you guys if you like the content i'd sure appreciate a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, we're getting dangerously close to uh, 34,000 subscribers i'd love to hit that here in the next little bit and until next time thanks and have a great day